Hi, welcome to Simply Chalk Design. My name is Mai Bella, your independent chalk couture designer. As I'm getting everything ready for a chalking project, here are some things you can help me with. As soon as you come in, please share. Win some awesome merch just by sharing, liking, following, subscribing, and commenting. After you share, comment hashtag confetti. Also, comment with where you are watching from. Also, please like and follow if you are watching from Facebook. If you're watching from YouTube, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my talking videos. If you're watching live, please comment hashtag live. If you're watching the replay, please comment hashtag replay. If you are new to my page or my channel, please comment hashtag pickle. I would love to welcome you to Talk a Tour. I would also love to be your designer. If you are already a designer, welcome. Please slam on the hearts and I thank you for watching. Talk a Tour is a fun, high-end home decor company specializing in reusable silk screen transfers and creamy, dreamy chocology paste and ink. With so many designs to choose from to create your own fabulous designs. Please sign up for the awesome monthly club couture subscription. For only $19.99 per month with a three month commitment, you will receive an exclusive eight and a half by 11 reusable silk screen transfer with three Tacology paste packets. It is so much fun to get it delivered to you each month. Monthly reusable silk screen transfer is an exclusive Club Couture and for designers only. If on the fifth of every month you will be billed for the club and then your mystery silk screen transfer will be prepared and shipped to you. You can join the club or shop at my website www.simplychalkdesign.com. Also, you can join my Chalk Boss team and become a designer. You can make extra money each month, get awesome discounts, earn incentives and trips. Start your own business in a box and make extra money each month. All you have to do is join my team. For only $99 in the U.S. and $135 in Canada, you will receive everything you need to start your own creative empire and chalk design business. The designer kit is valued at over $240 in the U.S. and over $350 in Canada. Your kit will consist of Chalk Couture catalog, your Chalk Couture apron, seven reusable silkscreen transfers, five of our creamy, dreamy Chalkology paste jars, one Gallery Aiden porcelain frame, 9 by 12 one boutique board and base, five by seven, one package of 12 chalkable chips, a package of thank you cards, and your Chalk Tour Read Me info. If you would like more information, please message me or comment down below. I would love to have you on my team. Now, let's get chalking. Hi guys, everybody, welcome. How is your Sunday been? Your weekend, does everybody thought out? You guys stop what you're doing and please help me share. Come back and do hashtag confetti after you've shared. Give me a moment as I am sharing as well, where I'm trying to Facebook. Oh my gosh, did another update and it doesn't seem to be letting me share. They keep changing it, you guys. They keep changing it. Hold on, hold on. Please hold. Okay, let me. So if y'all can help me with that and please share, I would appreciate it. Okay. Hello, Miss Melinda. How are you? Hi. 
How's everybody doing? Long time, girlfriend, long time. Hope you're doing well. Did you, it's like, I know we survived the storm, but how did we survive the storm? That was a tough one, you guys. That was a tough one. Too cold, too cold for me. We did okay. My family was fine, but my goodness, was it cold. So how's everybody doing? Let me know that you're here when you come in. And please share and comment confetti. Um, once we get to 20, I'm going to be generous. Once we get to 20 shares, you guys, tonight, I'm going to give chalk paste away, okay? Chalk paste away. We'll give it out. Um, pick out a winner tonight. You have to share publicly, um, not to my groups, publicly, and we'll pick out a winner tonight. 20 sharers. 20 sharers. Hello, Miss Deborah. How are you? And everybody, everybody can win. Designers, viewers, fans, friends. Okay, you guys. So, all excited. All excited. It's, I'm wearing my little cat ears because it's time. It's time, it's time, it's time to do our monthly subscription, The Club Couture. And I know some of you, some of us um, are waiting. The mail service has been crazy ridiculous. Thank you, Deborah. I appreciate it. Make sure I can see share um, that is shared publicly and you'll be able to qualify tonight and someone's going to win after 20 shares. Someone is going to win a chalk paste, three ounce chalk paste. Um, so some of you have been waiting and waiting patiently for our Club Couture to come in. Let me show you what it is. I know half of y'all have received it that are my club members and half of you are still waiting for it. So this is what we're going to work on tonight because tonight is Club Couture night. So it says, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. And then the smaller part in the bottom says, live the life you imagined. Isn't that pretty? I'm also going to incorporate a retired transfer called Boho Flowers with this. Okay? So we're going to do that. Let me share the screen here. Make myself small. Oops, wrong way. Oh my goodness, come on. Okay, guys, if it stops or pauses or anything like that, Facebook and YouTube are going through crazy changes right now. So just try and stay on, bear with me, and we'll keep it going. How did you do with the cold weather, Miss Debra?
we can use this over and over and over again. It's a gallery board. It's called the Aiden. Too cold, too cold for me. We did okay. My family was fine, but my goodness, was it cold. So how's everybody doing? Let me know that you're here when you come in. And please share and comment confetti. Um, once we get to 20, I'm going to be generous. Once we get to 20 shares, you guys, tonight, I'm going to give chalk paste away, okay? Chalk paste away. We'll give it out. Um, pick out a winner tonight. You have to share publicly, um, not to my groups, publicly. And we'll pick out a winner tonight. 20 sharers. 20 sharers. Hello, Miss Deborah. How are you? And everybody, everybody can win. Designers, viewers, fans, friends. Okay, you guys. So, all excited. All excited. It's, I'm wearing my little cat ears because it's time. It's time, it's time, it's time to do our monthly subscription, The Club Couture. And I know some of you, some of us um, are waiting. The mail service has been crazy ridiculous. Thank you, Deborah. I appreciate it. Make sure I can see share um, that is shared publicly and you'll be able to qualify tonight and someone's going to win after 20 shares. Someone is going to win a chalk paste, three ounce chalk paste. Um, so some of you have been waiting and waiting patiently for our Club Couture to come in. Let me show you what it is. I know half of y'all have received it that are my club members and half of you are still waiting for it. So this is what we're going to work on tonight because tonight is Club Couture night. So it says, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. And then the smaller part in the bottom says, live the life you imagined. Isn't that pretty? I'm also going to incorporate a retired transfer called Boho Flowers with this. Okay? So we're going to do that. Let me share the screen here. Make myself small. Oops, wrong way. Oh my goodness, come on. Okay, guys, if it stops or pauses or anything like that, Facebook and YouTube are going through crazy changes right now. So just try and stay on, bear with me, and we'll keep it going. How did you do with the cold weather, Miss Deborah?
we can use this over and over and over again. It's a gallery board. It's called the Aiden. And first, let's take this off. This was our ribbon from last time. So I don't think I, yeah. So you can save this for something else or deconstruct it so you can do something else. But that was our little messy bow. So let's put that aside. But all you have to do is mist down your board with water. Let it sit for a little bit. Can y'all see me sideways? That is so weird. It did that last time. Hold on real quick. Don't get dizzy. Let me see. How's that? <laughs> Took you on the little <laughs> spin the wheel there. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> I can't see those signs, so don't worry. Just keep commenting. So anyway, you spray it. You let it sit for a little bit. And I usually grab some paper towels, but I don't have paper towels here with me. I didn't bring any. So while that sits, you guys, we're also going to use this retired transfer. It's called Boho Flowers. And inside the Boho Flowers was also, let me take it out while that sits for a little bit. This has been on there for a month, you guys, maybe a little bit over a month. But it's been on there for a month. And you're going to see how easy it is to clean this. So from that boho flowers, there was two arrows. And we're going to incorporate this to all these other arrows in here, okay? So let's get this clean. But first, we have our new handy-dandy tool, which is the scraper. And look at this, you guys. I forget to use this because when I started, we didn't have which has been three years, you guys, over three years. I, we didn't have this nifty little tool that Talkator came up with. <coughs> I always get the cough. I guess I talk too, too much. So there we go. Wipe your scraper off. This is awesome. And first I was afraid to use it because I thought it's going to ruin my porcelain surface i don't want it to ruin my beautiful boards but no you guys it works amazingly so don't forget to share you guys 20 shares to different places publicly and we'll select a winner Now, after it dries a little bit, we are going to see if we need to use the board eraser in case you have shadowing. Sometimes you get shadowing, sometimes you don't. It depends on the minerals, the pigment in your paste on your surface, different factors. Now I see your cute little angry face. You're probably just hot. You're a hot mama, right? I shouldn't have done that. I got it wet again. Let's try it. For those of you that were designers before, and are not designers anymore. If you can join the Club Couture guys, the monthly subscription, it's only $19.99 per month. They don't, it's a three month commitment, but they don't bill you the three months right away. They bill you the fifth of the following month. There's also options if you want to buy the last one, which was this one. But anyway, they bill you on the 5th of the month, and by between the 5th and the 8th, they ship them out. Now, if there isn't crazy weather like there is right now, I have no shadowing, you guys, so that's awesome. So, um, you get your, your, your monthly club members only, and designers get this. It's an exclusive transfer. You also get it with three chalk paste. Three chalk paste. 
you guys, and if you sign up under me, I need four more, excuse me, I need eight more for a shopping spree that one of you people signs up in February will be qualified for. Only the people that signed up for my um, subscription in February. Once you sign up, I'll get a notification, but I would like for you to message me and I will send you a dry erase board that you're going to need. I will send you three little trays. I don't know if you can see that. Three little trays to mix your paste in. Three little containers to put the excess because you will have some left over. A stir stick and a squeegee from me for signing up under me. And then if you sign up in February, you also get 15% off on any purchases you get. 15, one, five, the following month. That's the promotion they have right now. So that's awesome. Okay, you guys, let's get shocking. So there was no, um, what do you call it? Shadowing. So we're good with that. It's like brand new, you guys. It's got a 50-year warranty, guarantee. Isn't that awesome? It's beautiful. It's distressed. It's called the Aiden Board. That comes in your kit once you sign up as a designer. And it's amazing. It's an amazing board. It's also magnetic, if I didn't mention that before. So here is our transfer. Let's get ready, you guys. Then we're going to embellish afterwards, okay? So because I use this platform to do my broadcast, Facebook and YouTube don't like it, so they don't share us as much as they used to before. But that's okay. Um, quality over quantity, right? So then I like to mark the back and it's called Go Confidently. And it is the Club Couture, so I like to put CC. And it's February 2021, you guys. And this are the arrows. And then same thing over here. I like to mark it because sometimes, you know, we do workshops and um, there's a lot of people using the different transfers. Um, the backings get lost. So it's easier to match up. And also, you know that on the side you wrote on is not the side you stick your transfer back on you stick the sticky side to the shiny side right so then let's cut it apart with these awesome transfer trimmers from Takatora. they're back in stock and i believe tuesday or wednesday they're gonna have a restock again of a lot of things the new surfaces some accessories the new creamy dreamy chalk paste the guy guys the the formula on that chalk paste is to die for it is creamy dreamy i like to also trim my little corners sometimes it makes it easier to lift the transfer from the backing and also um to i don't know it just makes it easier for me to match up so Let's see how we're going to do this, you guys. And we're going to embellish this so cute. It's going to be awesome. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Hey, Miss Mary, how are you? The good old girls, right? The good old girls club tonight. Okay, so here's our Aiden board. And the colors that are with the chalk paste colors that come with this selection, the three paste colors you will get is uh, shimmer gold, which let me get, let me get it, let me get it. Shimmer gold, you guys, velvet black, and current jam is what you should have received which you should have received with your, what do you call it? Your monthly transfer, right? But we are also going to use Shimmer Frost. 
and where's my white? And we're going to use white. Why? I'm working on a black surface. So I can't use velvet black on that. But we are going to use velvet black on the embellishment. So we'll put that there. We are going to use shimmer frost. We are going to use white current jam. And we are going to use the shimmer gold. Okay, you guys, I did pre-mix all of my chalk paste. I had to come in here yesterday after it wasn't so cold. My studio is really, really cold. It does have a unit that is um, like central air and, um, you know, heating and cooling. But by the time this room gets hot or warm, it just wastes too much electricity. So I just didn't want to do it. So anyway, I came in yesterday in warm-ups and all of this good stuff to mix all my paste. You guys, some of my paste, because it was so cold for so long, and, you know, us girls here in South Texas, we're not used to that. Yes. Yes. Well, let me tell you, I worked on my chalk paste. Some of it did get hard. Some of it did get clumpy. Look at my white. Can y'all see that? Look how clumpy that is. But those are soft clumps. Those are soft clumps. So I added water. I mixed, I mixed, I mixed. I did it to most of them. And um, some of them came back as they used to be before. Some of them, like this white one, it looks funny, but it still works, right? So it, it's, it's heartbreaking because I take care of my paste. I mix them once a month. Um, but just, you know, I couldn't get back here and I couldn't take care of it. So what I did was, you guys, I got them all in a, in a bin. I took them. Look at my current jam. I had mixed it. And I didn't even add water, but I started mixing. And now it's like too wet for my liking. <laughs> too wet. Um, but the new creamy, dreamy paste, you guys, if you leave it by accident uncovered, it's going to be fine. If um, the only thing that I'm concerned about is they say it's got a shelf life of 30 days. Ugh. You know, I don't use every color every month, but I do take care of it, right? So anywho, we'll see how that works, but I do love it. I do love the formula. It's awesome. But what I did was I added a little bit of water. If it was like a hockey puck, I added a little bit of water. And I've never put it in the microwave oven. I've heard people doing it. But I put it in the microwave oven for seven seconds. And then I mixed it. And then if it needed more, I put it in for six seconds. And I mixed it. Yes, Mary. It's going to be amazing. Wait till you get it. Wait till you get it. Now, everything new that we've ordered. I was an early bird um, person who ordered, who was able to order. I haven't gotten my stuff in. I got other stuff in. I got my monthly cup couture. I got different stuff in, things that I won, whatever. But I have not gotten everything in. And it's just crazy. It just says pending or something like that on the tracking. But anyway, so you take it to the microwave oven. I added water. I put it in for seven seconds, mixed it, mixed it, mixed it. Put it in for six seconds, mixed it, mixed it, mixed it. Sometimes I had to do it three or four times at six seconds. The first time seven, and then three times at six. And I mixed and mixed and mixed till my paste was decent to work with. It's not chalk couture's fault, you guys. This is Mother Nature. <laughs> it's just um, it's it's just the way it is, right? So you work with what you have. I didn't want to throw everything out. I have all the paste plus more, all the Envo colors and everything. I haven't even checked the ones at the store. I have not been at the store since a week ago Saturday. So who knows, you know, all that product I have there for uh, market days and events. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Hello, Arlene. Welcome, welcome. Okay, you guys, so enough jibber jabbering. We're going to fuzz this. 
and this I'm going to put at the top. But before I put that at the top, this is what we're going to do. This is going to go as so. And then I don't know which arrow, but one of these arrows I'm going to put like this. I think I like that one with the little feathers coming down versus this one. And I don't know. I like my arrow to go that way. What do y'all think? Arrow one, no feathers. Arrow two, hanging feathers. Which one do y'all think I should use? And then this we're going to use as an embellishment. Okay. So about there. So let's fuzz this and let's begin. You love a new catalog. It's so romantic, isn't it? Look at it. Woohoo! Is that beautiful? Oh, so pretty. So pretty. And everybody that is a Club Couture member, you guys, the monthly subscription, you get one of those too. You get a catalog. So see you guys where I tore that little corner off, where I cut it off? It's easier to pick up. So you can pick it up and then put it on your fuzzing cloth. You don't have a fuzzing towel. Just use a regular towel, something that will pick up a little bit of lint. Not cat hair, not dog hair, not feathers, just a little bit of lint. And this one is sticky, but it's not super sticky, so. So we put it down as so. And then get your air bubbles out of your design. You can use another squeegee, use your hands, but get those air pockets out. You like the one with the feathers? I like the one with the feather too. Okay, feathers it is. Okay, you guys, so I guess this is going to be white. Direction will be current jam, and this will be white. But I also want to use a shimmer frost. So in the direct, in the and of will be shimmer frost, or vice versa. We'll see how it goes. Let's get going. Okay, let's get going. Okay, so maybe go confidently in the Shimmer Frost. And the new paste, you guys, that's Creamy Dreamy, takes a little bit longer to dry. Okay, that and that will be Shimmer Frost. And then let's use my Lumpy White. My Lumpy White. I'm going to show you it still works. It's going to be white right there and white right there. And then my current jam that's really runny after the freeze. Look how runny it is. But it's going to work. We're going to make it work. It's going to go there. And it's also a little lumpy. <laughs> lumpy and runny. Okay, here we go, you guys. This up here is Shimmer Frost. Now remember the frost colors, I mean the, the shimmer colors, you have to make sure you press them through gently but confidently through your silk screen, okay? Because it does have some grit and you want to make sure you push it through your screen area, your design. Okay, there's that one. And then here it is down here. So today, you guys, we've been having, thank goodness we have, we don't have gas in our house, but we do have gas heaters. You know, we have one of those bottles that they put outside and you have to get it refilled. Um, because our whole house is electric, so... Okay, then white. So white is little, so I'm going to use a smaller squeegee that I cut in half. And look at my lumpy white. It's still going to work. So we kept warm. We had food. We had just...
gone to the grocery store and then Sunday I went to go get more stuff we needed. And then it was crazy because right after that, everything started running out. Crazy, you guys. And then, you know, you read on Facebook. We didn't have internet, but whenever I could get a little bit, you know, you'd get on Facebook and so sad. All the food at the store. Um, my girl that works there, um, she went to the store. She took everything she could home that they could use at home. Everything else we gave away to the... It's called, um, what do you call it? Loaves and fishes. And it feeds the, the unfortunate, the homeless, um, mujeres, unidas, things like that. So all the rest of the food from the tea room went there. Or else it would have all gone bad. So thank goodness we're able to help a little bit. So you, you're generous, and then you remove all your excess, you guys. And then we reveal. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. So pretty. So pretty, pretty, pretty. So what was I? I don't know. It's devastating. It was crazy. There's still people suffering. People finding their, what do you call it? Their plumbing is bad. They've got leaks now. People have been out of work for a week or so. So it's tough, you guys. Besides, oh, that's a period. I was going to clean it up. But no, it's, it's a period. Okay, then I'm going to put this in the bottom. Let's fuzz it. So it was an experience, you guys. I'm old, but I have never been through something like that. Never. And then, you know, checking up on family members, checking up on the elderly. It's crazy. Now this one, I'm going to take my time because we're going to be a little bit fussy here. And we're going to do our arrows in different colors. So here I'm going to use the gold and I'm going to use my multi-tool because it's tiny little spaces. We're going to use the gold every three arrows and then I'm going to do this one and shimmer white. So we're going to use shimmer gold on three arrows, then white. Shimmer frost, shimmer frost. Sorry, you guys. So here we go. Okay. Uh, so let's start just to make it look a little different. Everybody's been doing awesome with this. Y'all have sent some awesome stuff of what you've done, and I truly appreciate it. Comments are so slow, you guys. Sorry. But it's a learning experience. You know, you're, we're prepared for hurricanes. We prepare for everything. I don't know. I think we're so spoiled. And when we don't have electricity, we freak out. <laughs> so three gold, three shimmer gold arrows and then one shimmer frost. Okay, and then let's do the shimmer frost. I think this is it. And I think Mary said something about a water well I read yesterday that she was going to make sure their water well was working. Because isn't it terrible, you guys? I think we're so, yes, it was rough days. But we get so, oh, let me do this one. We get so used to our comforts, and that's what we're
people, they couldn't get to work. Crazy. You know, I have a store. My kind of store is not anything a necessity whatsoever. And then I have to drive to get there 30 minutes and the overpasses are, would freeze over and stuff like that. So now I stayed home, stayed home, uh, took some things to my daughter, um, saw my brother, we got the generator going, you know, it was just every day was something we we're dealing with. Okay, so you, I'm lifting it up just to make sure it doesn't dry up on me because I do have two ceiling fans on. So I'm making sure there's no bubbles and let's continue with our gold here. But you guys, not to be rude or anything or not to, I don't know. I think people who have been poor, like us, most of us, that could live on frijoles and arroz or frijoles and tortillas did pretty good. But the younger people that have never really struggled and some older people too that have never really struggled, I think it was rough. But, oh, what I was saying that as soon as you're out of electricity, you crave everything. You want hot coffee, you want hot tea, you want a hot meal instead of, what do you call it, a sandwich. We're crazy. Okay, then the shimmer frost right here. One, two, three. Oh, all these white ones are going to end up over here. Okay, I'm going to cheat. I don't know how to count, so I'm going to do this one in Shimmer Frost. The Shimmer Frost is so pretty! Okay, guys, we're almost done with these arrows. In a little bit while this dries, I'm going to show you and ask you what y'all want me to work on Tuesday. And I'm going to show you and maybe you will see and you probably have everything at home already and y'all can join along with me. Okay, let's lift. Reveal. Oh my God, you guys, that is beautiful. I wish through the camera lens, y'all could appreciate this beautiful shimmer paste. <laughs> I love sandwiches. I like bologna sandwiches, turkey sandwiches, ham sandwiches. You know, I love it. I love it. But I didn't want a sandwich, you guys. It's so crazy. Isn't that beautiful? I don't know that y'all can appreciate that shimmer. The lighting doesn't now we're going to do that arrow that Mary wanted. I've never used the arrows. I did use my flowers, but I never used my arrows, you guys. So we're going to use it today. Let me clip it on this side. You know how sandwiches are better, Mary? When somebody else makes it for you. Everything always tastes better when somebody else makes it for you. Is my my idea of food. It always tastes better when somebody else makes the sandwiches. So I don't want to put it this way because usually I put everything going this way like, you know the flag but because or should I put it that way what way do y'all think you guys this way and the feathers are up 
or should I put it this way and the feathers are down? If the feathers are down, it looks like the, the frame is resting. It's not moving. It's not going anywhere. Like this, it kind of looks like that arrow is on the move. Hello, Miss Rita. What's going Estamos talking it, girlfriend? We're talking it. Thank you, Miss Rita. We get 20 shares tonight. I don't see Miss Sheila. She always she's always counting for me. If we get 20 shares, there is Navy that somebody might win. Or there's Lilac that somebody might win. So what do y'all think? Feathers down. Okay, feathers down. We'll put it like this. She says feathers down and feathers down it is. Okay, what color should the arrow be? And what color should the feathers be? Get your air. Air bubbles are trouble, you guys. Bubbles are trouble. Bubbles only in your champagne, your sparkling wine, your bathtub, not in your transfer. What color do we do this? Okay, I'm going to put my white chalk paste away while y'all tell me. And before I close it, I am going to put a squirt of water, you guys. My white chalk paste needs, I need to use it up. And then what else? I'm away. We don't need it. That one's too runny, so I will not add water to that one. But I do take the chalk paste off the sides, you guys. The dry stuff. I do take it off the sides and put it down with the rest of the goodness. Thank you, Miss Mary. Thank you, thank you. And I think I'm going to put the shimmer frost away. We don't need it. So see all of that that stays up there, you guys? I don't know if you can see. All of that that stays up there is going to dry if you don't put it back with the rest of its friends. So take it off the side and put it back with the rest. Put it back in the pool. The black I'm going to leave out. Because I think we're going to use it again. I'll check. If I can't check later, or if Ms. Sheila doesn't come on, um, I'll announce it. Who won? If we got to how many? If we got to 20 shares. Okay, so what color? I can use um, copper. I can use the gold. And we do the feathers in white and the shimmer in the shimmer. Oh, you know what, you guys? We can do the feathers yeah, and the shimmer, a white feather. I'm going to do it in gold. I'm going to do the big feather in gold because that's what came with our little monthly subscription. And then the feathers all
Now let's lift this and reveal. Transfer doesn't curl up. You see, then you get it to curl up like that really, really badly. Beautimus. So here you go, you guys. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. What happened? Did I disappear? Sorry. Just stay, stay there and... Um, We'll reconnect once again. I was concentrating. Did I freeze? <laughs> okay, you guys, now we're going to embellish. But before we embellish, let me show you and see what y'all want to do on Tuesday. On Tuesday, we can either do, well, I think we're going to talk. For sure. But it's going to be, um, remember the chicken and the rooster? It's going to be farmy stuff, really cute farmhouse glam stuff. But also, I thought Tuesday I could show y'all what I did yesterday when I was back here mixing my paste. Look, you guys, I made little carrots. So I can show y'all how I make my little carrots. That's fabric. All of y'all know I'm a quilter. I love to quilt, but I did not sew, you guys. I cheated. I didn't sew. It's hot glue gun. So I made that carrot. I made a green carrot. So just use scrap fabric. This is just a little box. Anyway, this was a big leaf, you guys. So I just sliced the leaf and I kind of cut it like a carrot because I ran out of these little leaves that kind of look like, what do you call that? basil <laughs> so I ran out of those so then I got found two big leaves I cut them up to make it look like a carrot top so I can show you how I make these I used twine and then a little button for cuteness and then I put them in a little box because look as y'all can see back here all my valentine stuff has come down so we got to start decorating for the spring and for Easter God willing we'll get to celebrate Easter Sunday with our families, right? Not be celebrating Easter Sunday. Um, you know, it's the day of the Lord, but um, we, we might be able to celebrate it with our families. This is orange burlap that I had had for years and years, you guys. And I did a stitch, a running stitch up on top. This is green raffia up here. And then I added my uh, burlap that I used the other day, which is like a real thick, heavy, muslin fabric so i made those then my daughter didn't like this one because she said it was a little freaky <laughs> i thought it was so cute you guys and what i did for this one i downloaded the patterns um from i just i i googled uh printable free bunny patterns so i got this one i got that one and then I got this one. I think this one is just supposed to be the ears and the face. But I don't know what I was thinking. I guess my brain was still frozen. So this is the freaky one that my daughter said, Mom, that's weird. I put a bunny tail right there. And she goes, there's a bunny tail or is that the nose? <laughs> so anyway, there's this one, you guys. We can do these. And I put very little cotton in between so it could stand up on my tear tray I have inside. But that one's cute. I think it's cute. My daughter didn't like it. And then I made these with that pattern, the free the internet. You know, I have tons and tons of fabric. So I made that little bow that I've shown y'all how to make before.
spring. I hope y'all saw the little rabbits and everything. Okay, so now we're going to embellish. Remember I showed you all how to make these tags on other episodes? <laughs> anyway, on one side, I put a black little chocolate chip there. On this side is a thicker tag. And I had already decorated this before. And we can do more of these on Tuesday also if y'all want to. Um, this one already had a key on there. So I'm going to leave the key. But I want to hang an arrow. And I need for y'all to help me select an arrow. I have a bronzy looking, like copper bronzy looking arrow. And I have a shiny gold arrow. I have an arrow that is got like blue turquoise. I don't think we should use that one because we didn't use any turquoise. There's a gold one and I have a silver one too somewhere. Did y'all miss it? Y'all want me to show it? Here's a silver one. So you can download anybody you want and we can create together. Uh, here were the bunnies I created. I can show y'all how to do that sweet little bow that you can add to anything. There's the other bunny with, my daughter said it should have been a face and I put a little tail on there. I thought it was cute. There's the carrot, but I loved these carrots better. Are those cute, you guys? So I'm going to display them at the... These are going to the store, but I'm going to make some more for my house. I'm going to display them like this in the tear tray. Isn't that cute? With a little basket of carrots. So we'll do that Tuesday. Just let me know if y'all are interested or you just want me to chalk. That's all. Just chalk. Okay, so we need to pick one of those. And then I think I'm done with the gold. Let me put this away. The shimmer gold. And we're going to use this. Live the life you have imagined. Isn't that beautiful? So we're going to put that here and then we're going to add one of those arrows that y'all helped me pick out. So let's get this fuzzed. I did wax my little piece of tag here and it is painted with DIY chalk paint. has the surface wax because it doesn't have that smell it, you know you can use it and it doesn't smell bad so we're going to use all the elements and then we're going to put them together you guys so there's the period No air bubbles. The little fabric carrots, um, you'll need like a five by five inch square or a five by seven or a six by seven. A rectangle works better. You'll need scrap leaves, your hot glue gun, and some filler cotton. That's what you need. 
We'll do those Tuesday. So we're going to use black on this. Let me mix my black here. And then we're going to put our whole project together for tonight. See, my, my black now is a little, it's lumpy, but the lumps on my black are a little bit smaller than my other ones. So then I got a little mini squeegee, and we're going to spread our paste like peanut butter and take the excess off. Long, even strokes, you guys. Don't pat it, pat it, pat it so much. Just long, even strokes. You can kind of feel it when it goes through the screen. I did it several times right there because I'm falling off my tag. Remove all the excess and then let's peel and reveal. Oh, that's beautiful. Simple but gorgeous. So pretty. Okay, we'll let that dry. Did y'all tell me what arrow? I should use the gold one, right? We'll use the gold one. Rita and Miss Mary, did y'all do anything with the little extras, extras I sent y'all that y'all won? Did you do anything extra? Okay, that's going to stay down. I need to hang this. So, we're going to cut some ribbon. This is bias binding ribbon, you guys. And the reason why I'm using this one is because it's real thin, but it, it looks really pretty.
Are we back? Are we back? Can you see? Can you hear? Oh, sorry, you guys. I apologize. It's Facebook. Crazy. Did y'all see me put the arrow on? You guys, when we come back, share again, okay? Even if it's almost to the end, they can watch the replay. It'll still count as a share. And one of you guys is going to win a um, jar of paste. Okay, so I was able to put the arrow on this bias tape. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're almost done. Let's hurry up. So I'm going to hang this in between the last bead and where my uh, messy bow begins. Because I need something to tie it to my frame. So this will only be seen by someone who gets really close. And looks at all the little details. Hold on, I want it to hang a little bit lower. Sorry, you guys, it's Facebook. Because on YouTube, it's fine, it's Facebook. That mark, let me tell you. Either that or it's our wonky internet because it's been. I don't know what it is, you know, since the weather's been crazy. Okay, let's do this again. I just wanted it to hang a little bit lower. So there's my messy bow. We'll fluff it up once we put it on. There's the arrow. Here's our beautiful Aiden board. And you guys, I put a little... Um, upholstery tack on my Aiden board right here. It just makes a tiny little hole. So that upholstery tack stays there. And that's what I use to embellish my stuff. So that's where I'm going to hang. Sorry, I have to bring it near me. That's where I hang my embellishments. Whether it be flowers, whether it be something like this so now let me show you so i hung it off of that upholstery tag that's going to be there the beads will hang like so and you'll see it right behind me again isn't that pretty and then you get tired of this you can remove that because i did wax it and you can use the other side remember it had a uh, talkable chip in the back. So there we go, you guys. Let's hang it behind me. Can y'all see? 
So there we go. There's our messy little bow. There's the little arrow. Is that not gorgeous, you guys? It's so pretty. So pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. So pretty. Love it. Can y'all see it? This way. Sorry. Everything's fast backwards. <laughs> so, you guys, that is all for tonight. Thank you for bearing with me. I hope y'all saw the bunnies. Well, you just saw the ideas. Go and do whatever you're going to do and just add messy bow, add a key, add an arrow, add a floating heart, um, a little sprig, you know, like I did on the carrots. I'll show you that some other time. You know, you add a little sprig of this with some ribbon to a corner of a frame. So cute, you guys. But that's why you continue watching. You look at my ideas. You're going to make it better than I am because you're going to evolve it and make it better, right? So my ears will come off till next month till we do our next Club Couture. But I will see you Tuesday. Remember, get 5x5 five five fabric or 5x7 five fabric, depending on how big you want your carrots. Get some stuffing for your, what do you call it? To stuff the carrots. Get some little leaves. And uh, if y'all need the pattern and you can't download it, you guys, I can make the patterns for you. And then you'll need some jute twine. You'll need some jute twine. And it's just a little simple, what do you call it? Button. And they're all different. It's just whatever you have around, you guys. Look, that was a really huge leaf. And then I made those cuts, remember? So we can start decorating for Easter, our spring, right? These, we can attach them all and make a little banner like we had the little hearts hanging behind us. So we can make a bunch of them and then just put a little banner. Or you can put them in your tear trays. You can do lots of stuff. And just use scrap fabric. Don't go out and buy anything crazy. Use what you have at home. Okay? So, you guys, if we did hit the 20 um, shares, you know, whenever y'all get anything from me, whenever y'all get anything from me, you just don't get what you win for sharing. You get extra little goodies. I don't know. I did ask before, but I don't know what her response was. If Mary or Rita have done anything with their little extras, did they attach them anywhere? Did they do anything with them? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, you guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you Tuesday if we don't freeze over, <laughs> if hell doesn't freeze over. So we'll see you Tuesday um, at 830. And um, we're going to chalk some beautiful stuff and we'll make some bunnies and some carrots, whatever we have time for. Okay. Y'all have a good evening. Take care of each other. Bye.